All right, guys, so in the last video, we went ahead and we created our pages app. We created uh, a URL to the index view or I'm sorry, index method inside the views file, which is right here. And then we're just outputting or returning an HTTP response that outputs an H1. Okay, so that's that's what we're seeing right here. Um, now, what we want to do is output a template. So there's a couple steps we need to take. The first, we need to tell Django where to look for templates, what folder to look at. So in settings.py, you want to go down to the, the templates list right here. It has a dictionary with the, all these values, these key value pairs. And we want to go to this DIRS, this directories, and we want to tell it where to look. So where I put my templates is right in the root. So not in any of these folders here, just right alongside them. So to let it know that we're going to say os.path.join and we're going to use our base underscore dir variable, which just basically says the, the base directory or the root directory. And then we want to define the, the folder name we want to use, which is templates. So let's go ahead and save that. All right, and then we want to go into our root here and create a folder called templates. Okay. now it's up to you how you want to structure your templates. I, I like to categorize them. So, for instance, our pages app will have a couple of its own templates. So we'll create a folder called pages Then we'll have a folder called listings and so on. So I'm going to create a folder in templates called pages. And then I'm going to create two files in here. One is going to be index.html and then one is going to be about.html. Okay. For the about page, I'm just going to do an H1 that says about and save. And for index, I'll do an H1 that says uh, home and save. Okay. So now that we have our templates created, We need to first of all go to our pages app and then the urls.py because right now we don't have an about route just for the index. So I'm going to put a comma here, bring that down. We'll call this one about. And then the method name that I'm going to use is also going to be about and the route is also about. So let's save this. We're going to get an error here because There is no about method in the views file, so we're going to create that now. So in views, let's say um, we'll say def about. Okay, now we don't want to just return an HTTP response for either one of these. We want to render a template and we're actually already bringing in render up here. So that's what we want to use. So instead of this, we're going to say return render. And this takes in two things for now, which is going to be the request itself and then the location of the template, which is in pages slash index dot HTML. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing for the about. So we'll, we'll tab over here and paste that in and just change this to about and save. Uh, what I, oh, I forgot my parentheses and request. Okay. Now urls.py we're still seeing this error. We just need to resave it and that will go away. Okay, so now this should work. Let's head make sure your server's running. I have my server running in this this uh tab right here. Also, always make sure you're in your virtual environment. Okay? Make sure you have this venv or whatever you called it. Uh, and I will mention if you install an extension in VS Code and you, you reload, it's going to knock you out of your virtual environment. So you want to go back in if you're using your integrated terminal. So now let's go back to Chrome and reload. And now we see home. Okay, so it's loading the, the, the index HTML template in the pages folder in the templates folder. If we go to about, we see about. Okay, so that's perfect. All right, now. The issue with with this, what we're doing now um, is if we want to, well, of course, we do want to have like a head section. We want our HTML head body tags, all of our CSS references, JavaScript references. 
that's stuff we don't want to have to repeat on every template, like in the index, in the about, and anything else we create. So we want to extend a base layout. Okay, so what we'll what we'll do is in the templates folder, not inside pages, but just inside templates, we'll create a file called base.html. And then this is going to be just that, our base HTML that we can extend from other templates. Okay, and this is going to have like all our HTML head tags and stuff like that. So I'm going to use Emmet by doing exclamation tab just to give us a boilerplate here. Title will say BT real estate and I'll show you how to do dynamic titles later um, in our body. This is where we want to output any template that we extend. Okay, or that or that we use to extend this layout. So to do that, we're going to use the Jinja syntax. Jinja is the template engine that Django uses by default, and that is uh, curly braces and, and percent signs. Okay, so you can kind of think of this as like PHP. If you've ever if you've ever written PHP uh, inside your HTML, you need to open up your PHP tags to run that code. This is similar. Uh, we need to open up our Jinja tags or template tags, whatever you want to call them. And then here we want to say block content. Okay, and then we need to end that block by doing another set of tags and say end block. All right, so we'll save that. And then any template that we want to extend this layout from, we actually have to do a couple things. We have to first go up here, use our tags, oops, use our tags and say extends. And we'll say base.html. And then we just need to wrap the content in that block content content. Okay, and then at the end of it, we need to do end block. Yeah. All right. So let's save that. Now, uh, the way my editor is formatted, it kind of pushes this up here, which kind of sucks, but it's just something that we'll deal with for now. Uh, so let's go back to the home page. And now you'll see that the title says BT real estate. And if I were to look at my source code, it includes all that, you know, the doc type, the HTML, the head body, all that stuff. It includes all of it. And it's it's inserting the template right here. Okay, so now let's do the same for about because right now if we go to slash about, you'll see that there is no title. It's not extending that layout. So I'll just copy this here and go to about. And we'll go ahead and push that down and paste that in. And we just want to end the block. Like that. And we'll go back and reload. And now we get our title and it, that that layout is being extended. Now, if you're using VS Code, you do have the option to install the Jinja extension. So if we go to extensions, and we search for Jinja. It'd be this first one here, I believe. Let me just check the downloads. Yeah, so 244,000 this right here. If we say install, uh, that'll install it. Now watch down here. See how we're in our virtual environment. When I reload, it knocks us back out. Okay. It also got rid of my other tab that was actually running the server. Okay. So that that's something that just sucks. I, I wish it didn't do that, but it does. So if I reload, our server is no longer running. Um, now notice the Jinja syntax now has this this um, highlighting here. Unfortunately, if I knock this down, I would like it to be like that. But if I save, it gets put back up there. So I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to go to my settings and let's set format on save to false. Okay, I always have this on true, but I just want to save that and see if that helps the situation out. So if I go down here and save, okay, so now it doesn't do that. Now, since I shut that off, um, I'm just going to have to be a little more aware of, of how my code is formatted. Okay, but yeah, I think that with when we start to do like loops and stuff like that, it's going to look really messy if I keep that on. So I think that I'm going to just shut that off. All right. So now we actually if you're following along and you just did what I did, you have to go back into your virtual environment. So we're going to say source 
uh, venv, so slash venv slash bin slash activate. Okay, so now I'm back in and if you remember, if you're on Windows, it's going to be venv slash script slash activate dot bat. Okay, you might have to do an absolute path. So now I'm going to run my server with Python manage dot pi uh, run server. So this is kind of the disadvantage of using the integrated terminal with Django. But, um, you know, I don't want to keep going back and forth to my regular terminal. All right. So now my server is running. So I'm going to open up another tab hit the plus sign here and just go into my virtual environment in this tab as well. And now we're back. All right. So if I go back to the browser and reload, we should get our site back. All right. So in the next video, I want to start to implement our bootstrap theme, at least for the home and the about page. Uh, at first, it's going to be all static content. Okay, but we want to slowly but surely replace that with dynamic content. We're going to, um, you know, create our database soon, install Postgres and set that up um, and then we'll go from there. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.